Welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where we sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zion here. We have back to back Carl's Jr. reviews. Uh, the first one is going to be off of their new Jurassic World themed primal menu. Uh, we're going to be checking out the Primal Angus Thick Burger. It's a charbroiled beef Angus patty, uh, slow cooked sliced prime rib, amber barbecue sauce inspired by amber resin from the movies. Oh, interesting. A smoked cheddar and crispy fried onion rings served on a toasted potato bun. Um, this uh, description was off of brandy.com, one of my favorite sources for fast food news. But they also have a primal burrito, primal biscuit, uh, and a primal, uh, what's beyond, raptor, like raptor uh, burger. That's only at Carl's Jr. though. Uh, I opted for the burger, so let's do this thing. Hey, what are your thoughts on these Jurassic Park movies? So I saw... Obviously, I've seen the originals. Saw the first uh, three. I don't remember if there was a fourth uh, in that series, at least. Uh, before they rebooted it with Chris Pratt, I thought the one with Chris Pratt was pretty forgettable. The only part um, in that movie that I love, and because it, it's just so unbelievably out of place in that whole because it's very you know Jurassic Park. At least the ones with Pratt, the, that movie is like lighthearted a little bit. I mean, even two and three have their gruesome moments, which I guess kind of fits with what happens in this, but like this is just extra mean and everybody knows what I'm talking about. When the assistant gets picked up by the pterodactyl and then gets fucking eaten by that uh, that dinosaur that's in the water, like that, it's so unbelievably cruel. <laughs> um, but you know, what are your thoughts on, on these newer movies and the older movies just in general? I love the first one. I think the CGI was incredible. I saw this as a kid and it blew my mind. Like it was so, Amazing. Yeah, some of it's a little iffy now. Like the actual like robotics, like the T-Rex looks great, but a lot of the CGI doesn't look so good. Uh, second and third movie, I think that they're just whatever. They're watchable, but that, that there's really nothing in there that's super memorable. The one with Chris Pratt, I, it's totally forgettable to me. I barely remember what happened. You know, raptors that were smart or something, and the, the chick gets eaten. That's about it. Didn't see the second one, heard it was terrible. And now the third one's coming out, which actually prompts me to probably have to watch the second one, because I do want to see the third one with the old cast coming back. But it still just looks like... This is... Like, Jurassic Park was never meant to be uh, this, this many movies. <laughs> it just wasn't. It was a great idea. Uh, you know, the second one expanded it by having the dinosaurs escape, you know, run rampant around the city. After that, I mean, like, you're just, you're just, it doesn't, who cares? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe that's me. I'm a weirdo. Maybe you guys are excited for it. Let me know, though, what you think. And uh, let's do this burger. Hey, also back us on Patreon if you do want access to the videos that were too hot for YouTube. All of our deleted content that we were forced to remove. And also back us uh, over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash reckless All right. Wow, this thing is going to be delicious, I bet. All right. It does not look anywhere near as impressive as the picture, which... I gotta tell you, man, Carl's Jr. didn't used to have this problem. Carl's Jr. used to actually be like the one fast food place where your food actually looked close. I mean, not exactly the same, but at least close. And no, that does not look like the, the picture to me at all. Like, usually the problem is the onion rings in these. Like, the onion rings are usually stacked and they really make it look... Now, I know that they're showing you, like, you can get the, the like, more onion rings added or, like, the double burger version of this, but... Yeah, I don't know. It still doesn't look terrible for a fast food burger, but it's always an annoyance. Um, hey, if you stay tuned tomorrow too, the one we're doing is the Gold Digger Chicken Sandwich. And I'm going to take off the lettuce and the tomato, so the comments are going to be spicy. It's going to be very fun. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. I don't like the onion ring in there. So I don't like onions in general, but I do like onion rings on burgers. They're good. But this one is like super... I don't know, it's like, the texture is like slimy a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the just the, the onion ring in general, it's like giving it like a like a snottiness to it. It's kind of strange. It could be the cheese though too, because there's a bunch of cheese on this, which I do like. But my brain keeps leaning back to, uh, to the, uh, the onion ring. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad burger. The problem is, is it's $9.99. $9.99 for a fast food burger? Like, are you kidding me? Dude, I remember, like, Carl's Jr. used to be the one that would make fun of the places that had expensive fast food burgers. And now they've become the thing they made fun of. 
but it's always that's always blown my mind a little bit. All right, let's get one more bite. Right, let's try a little bit of this meat. That is really good. Wow, the meat on top of it. Woo! The angst. All right, yeah, that's delicious. And now that is stuck <laughs> in my teeth completely and utterly. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. Flavor-wise, it's there. But texture of the burger, I like, you know, I'm gonna sound like a weirdo here. Maybe you guys will understand where I'm coming from. When you bite into a good burger, even a fast food burger, restaurant burger, whatever, you just get that burger texture. I feel like the uh, meat patty on there is taking a back seat to a lot of the other stuff going on. And uh, it's just like, again, it's decent flavor. I like it, I don't think it's amazing, but it's, it's decent, it's good. Uh, but there's just like, it just doesn't give me that satisfying burger bite through and through. Again, like, I would have no problem eating that though. Um, you know, no issue whatsoever uh, if I got it on a whim. But would I go back and get it again? No, no, I would not. I would, at this point, you know, guys know my stance. I'm not a big fan overall of uh, burgers in general. Usually I only have a burger if I go to a restaurant, like a sit down restaurant, then I'll get a burger. This right here, a little bit of letdown, still decent. I like the gimmick, but the price point, way too expensive. $9.99 uh, should never be the price for a fast food burger. Uh, but you know, that's just kind of the times now. Everything just going up and being super expensive. I'm gonna rate this a very, 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 very low four out of five mad faces, because again, it is better than average. Uh, but that price point, I cannot, in good conscience, go any higher than that. So, there you go. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried the other two or three menus, depending on if you're at a Carl's Jr. and not a Hardee's? Uh, what would you think of them? And, you know, discuss the uh, for Jurassic Park movies down below. Stay tuned for the next episode, that Gold Digger Chicken Sandwich. Watch the rage in the comments as I remove most of it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. I wonder what's wrong with them. <laughs> I don't think there's anything you can do for him. Yeah, I think he just, that's the end of that. <laughs> well, I did, I just alpha the fuck out of the situation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh!